Alrighty, today's goal is to test out a couple of the newer rollers. So this one is, let me grab the big version so it's easier to see. Um, this is the one I'm calling Large Flowers. Doo -doo -doo. And it's got such a pretty pattern to it. And so this is, on the roller it's embossed, but I'm calling it debossed because what you get in the clay is a pressed in image. This one is labeled as embossed because it will leave an embossed um, version on the clay. So we'll probably try these out through some black or something and just show how deep they go. But yeah, I mean, heck, those are some seriously, seriously, seriously deep grooves on this. Mm, it doesn't like to get clear. Unless I can take up the whole thing. There we go, okay little bit of focus but yeah so compared to my enough compared to my thumb into a crack those are really deep so yeah and then same here it's built the same way <laughs> get a pinky finger in there but yeah, just you can actually get like at the fingernail. <laughs> Won't stay focused. Oh well. But anyway, so yeah, that's the one we're trying out today. Uh, so I have, let's see, my main height I've been playing with for conditioning is a one. So my teal color is a one. This is peacock pearl, one to one ratio with 24 karat gold. And then this is 24 karat gold one to two parts translucent because I just don't want it overtaking and it's too actually let me see if I can show you the difference so this is straight out of the package and it just tones it down just the tiniest bit by mixing it with translucent so I decided to do two parts translucent one part 24 karat gold or 18 karat gold sorry the 18 karat gold um because I am almost out of the 18 karat gold <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how to extend it anyway and then I was decided it would just be a little bit more subtle and probably finish out really pretty if I do it mixed down with translucent. So it's cut with translucent here. And then plain old white and plain old black. So I'm rolled out on a one, rolled out on a three, four, and four, and then this is at a seven. So I didn't move this because it's gonna be hard to get it on the white and I figured it would be easier to do it right here. So, let's just lay that down so it's got something to sticky to, and then pull it up. All right, so there we go. And so I want just the tiniest bit of black accent. I don't want it too carried away, because for the most part, I want this to be a light colored piece. So we're gonna start with our peacock pearl mixed with gold. Top it with a bit of gold. Somewhat line those up. Top it. Let's go white up. So we get a good contrast of that black and white against the gold. Alrighty. So there we go. So that's all kind of stacked together. Try to roll some of this out. Hmm. A little bit thinner so now I'm gonna hit this through on a zero on the pasta machine and then down to a one and then we're going to slice it roughly in half restack it Pull it so it stretches and kind of fits pretty well. Hit it with the roller again. And then as a zero, and then again, probably as a one. And I thought 
thought I had the pasta machine clean, but whatever. Mm. All right, I'm gonna start deforming that <laughs> unintentionally. So, roller, roller. Oh yeah, by the way, I've been playing with the roller doohickeys, so these guys catch together. And if you order one, I am trying to send my little needle nozzle cleaner thingies out with those. So I'll probably mark it on the website soon. Um, good idea to cover them in clay so they're a, easier to find and easier to hold on to. So I just kind of made a little pen tip and if I get anything in here, I can just do, do, do and pick it up. But anyway, okay, so that goes there, that goes there. And yes, I keep the crappy broken ones for myself because <laughs> that's not getting shipped out to anybody. So I had a slight fail on the printer and that one stays here for research purposes. All right, so closed. I gotta remember not to put that so close to the camera. Okay, so important thing to do is get it wet. because if you try to use it dry, clay will stick. You can use cornstarch if you like. I'm just used to using water, so that's what I'm sticking with, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> All right, so it's not exactly a start position on these, but, and I'm going to start in from the edge slightly. Make sure that that's pressed down well and use just the little edges from the roller and just work it through and make sure that I'm putting good solid pressure all the way down and let it come off the edge and get a little release your pressure at the edge too because sometimes it'll grab the very end pieces so have a nice little set and again yeah that's getting pretty pretty darn deep in there a little more light hold on there we go so and to be honest probably gonna put that on white backing let me do the bigger blade and scooch you out of the way Okay. And make sure we're well stuck down. That's definitely too much off at once. is a very, very, very hmm. and silicone mat is sticky. Hmm. Alrighty. Just shimmy, 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 shimmy. is going to be really pretty on something else. Pretty. That's good. Short blade.
Okay, now to perform surgery. <laughs> so, it can be very fun to play around with the scraps and stack them all together. And anything I don't use will just be mixed down to a single color, so at some point it will become something else. Um, I might get used in this. <laughs>
Yeah, so that's got, I like the way the swirl of colors come to the outside with the main color to the inside. And I love the, the snap of the pattern where like here it gets all blurry and softened with the white, which is also pretty. But this right here is in my mind the piece. I want to make sure it's got, oh, there we go. It's got the color tonality coming top to bottom. Yep, there. And then the question is, is there a good piece? within there that matches to make a set of earrings definitely here and probably if I don't go too big so that was that piece oh, those are it's probably too big I would be between that and Maybe this for earrings. Go with the smaller one. I'll have an easier time. Yeah. Filling it up with a similar effect. So I've got here. I can use that. And that gets me that dark to the outside that it's more broken off of one side instead of being centered like that one is. So over here, I can almost do the opposite color. I get a similar effect, but I can play on the opposite colors. Yeah, so that's really pretty. Can I find something else that also works for an earring? No. I think I'm going to take that one because I think that's really cool. And I think that has a feel with it. <clears throat> and then over here I can go. Oh yes completely contrary to the other earring. The interesting thing is as long as it all matches the main piece, you can usually get away with it. And then even though that doesn't have as much uh, congruency or plan, that's actually really pretty with it too. I have enough to cut anything else out so take that see what happens see if I like it and then I'd rather you stay down on the thing because I'm just gonna pull you off those actually go really well together is there anything else I can pull that gives me this effect so that's getting us into that too much white Hmm. Be honest. Kind of feel like that's a piece. So let me do this. You out of there.
and again it just makes cool textures and patterns I think I want something ooh wait a second I think these are too big Stop kicking yourself.